Hey, this is Matt. Welcome to the whiteboard. In this video, we will visualize quicksort. Suppose one day you ask your grandma for a lollipop, and every year since, she sent you a box of lollipops. But now you don't even like lollipops, so you decide to give them to friends. But who among your many friends should get a lollipop? You, being a programmer, start to score each friend from 1, the highest, to 10, the lowest. So you can sort your friends so you can give the highest ranked ones the lollipops. But how? You have a lot of friends, so if you use insertion sort, you have the n squared problem, and your program could blow up. Are there alternatives? Of course there are. If you need to sort an array of friends by their friendship score, quicksort can help. The algorithm's first step, pick a random pivot, move this pivot into its own one item array, then create an array for elements less than the pivot, then take those elements and move them there. The elements that remain are more than the pivot and they will go in a greater array like this. So already the array is partially sorted. On the left are people with low scores and high ranks, people who might actually get a lollipop. And on the right are friends who are barely friends. So what now? As with most algorithms, more of the same. Pick a pivot, create a lesser array, move lesser items there, and greater items here. Keep going. Just a lesser array in this case. Pivot. Just a greater than or equal to array in this case. Know where to go here, so let's go back up. Pivot. Lesser greater, pivot, greater. Soon we're down to single item arrays again. So back up, pivot, lesser, greater, all done. Have you noticed any pattern here? This is almost the sorted array we need to assign lollipop but it's spread out among one item arrays. So let's start combining them. Now that they're in the right order, let's put these back together. Then combine them with two. Now we need to go to the bottom again and keep combining. See where this is going? A completely sorted array. Neat, huh? Now let's give those lollipops away. Isn't it amazing how a fairly simple repeated procedure, like the folding of a piece of paper, can produce such dazzling patterns? Algorithms are like that. Quicksort is neat. Is it effective too? Let's look at just one number, five. In an insertion sort, five could be compared to every other item or 13 items. In quicksort, 5 is compared to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 other items before the comparison stop. That's a substantial reduction in the number of comparisons, and the larger the array, the larger the reduction. Wouldn't you like to have been the person who invented Quicksort in the moment they invented it? Well, if the algorithm is new to you, you're having that moment right now. Enjoy it. 